Hello, welcome back to Faust Journey Across the Bridge. I'm Fazia. So this is part two of the answers and it is the part B of part two. The first video will be part A of part two, answering the questions section. Um, and then it's some um, part B, the continuation of the first video. Okay, so question C was, and do you know what damages the inner child has and is experiencing currently? So I spoke about the memory issues that I had been experiencing for a very long time, which I classified as my issue, which I then had to teach myself tricks to assist me in remembering better and storing and retrieving information better. I am still also working through being self-reliant while learning how to seek support from others, uh, meeting my basic needs, understanding the difference and understanding the difference between waiting for divine intervention as a form of rescue and following divine guidance by helping myself through doing what brings me joy and trusting that it is sufficient, that I am sufficient to accomplish it. The damage that had occurred had caused a reduction of my faith, okay, not fully believing and not fully trusting in divine guidance, doubting in my own abilities and areas that I and areas that spoke to me naturally. Self-confidence is much less when it comes to pursuing my passion, and I am still working through insecurity issues and self-esteem issues. As well, I may have transferred moving from needing people to rescue me to needing God to rescue me. I actually struggled to get to this realization. And it may be because I could not see the wrong or the behaving help helpless aspect of that. You see, I may have been leaving situations in some instances for God to make better, which by faith is how I move. But if I struggle with my faith, then how can I believe that God can show me the way, the solutions, or even make a way to end my financial struggle and to show me areas that still need more healing? Okay. I had realized how doing this work, I realized that as I was answering certain questions, I was just becoming and feeling lighter and lighter and lighter. And um, I was understanding how serious this work is because it's not questions that you ask yourself every day, but when it's triggered and then, or it's made available to you and you ask yourself and you answer it, it's really like helping that energy off of you. You're releasing a load, okay? So I'm continuing my answer for that question. Okay, I still um, I still am working okay, on how to truly take hold of, of some of these issues. Okay, I had, I had the issues around money and faith, okay, with those concerns. And I believe that I had already addressed it, but I guess I need to address it even more. You see, money was used to manipulate me as a kid. Money was used wrongfully to blackmail me as a kid. So as I'm realizing how this is showing up and how this is coming up, it's just letting me know that when it comes to how, you know, I might be experiencing stuck energy or financial block and rather than having my financial overflow and abundance, it's 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 a block instead so i'm realizing and understanding that i need to grow more in my faith and i need to do more healing around um the energy of money another way that my childhood trauma is still showing up and is, is still showing up is with regards to me creating a safe space to live the struggle to obtain a place the struggle to keep one the struggle to be able to afford one the emotional effect of trauma causes me to be uncertain about choices I make in, in the pursuit of employment. Then when I am performing at work, I can experience fear of inadequacy. Like, what if I mess up? What if they see me as not competent? But yet somehow I have been pushing through these anxieties, the fear of failing. It seems to be about avoiding going back to an unsafe space in history going back to an unsafe space in history. 
Those are all the aftermath of damaging issues that trauma has caused in my life and that I am still working through. So this is me answering all the questions. And now um, I'm going to do a summary after having answered the questions that I just want to share with you guys. So it's a summary that I made that I, um, when I had answered the question, it was just um, somewhat of a realization. So the question that I ask myself is not, can I take care of myself? The question that I'm asking myself now is, do I believe in my desires and passion once more? Do I believe that I'm capable of making them my reality? And if I believe myself to be deserving of having them as my own, or do I, or do I just see them as unrealistic dreams and desires of a little girl that no one gave attention to or importance? I may, I may be struggling to give her I may be struggling to give her dreams the importance as well. Yeah. See, I'm actually exhausted. Not only have I been going at this for years, I'm ready to make sense of it all. I am actually trying to understand as well the relation between survival behaviors and being stuck when you are actually trying to move your life forward. I am currently trying to understand how to heal from being stuck financially. It seems to be the part that has its foot on the brake. I want to actually do, I want to do a video about how life will take off once I can fuel up the areas that need fueling. I imagine you are packed, no, imagine you are packed and ready to go, but the delay is not at your end. I'm also working through the practice of trusting the waiting period because if it is not my foot that is on the brake and if my destiny is calling me forward, then nothing can interfere. Only God can interfere. And if God has me in the waiting room, then there is nothing I can do to change it. I can only make the best of my waiting time and grow my faith and trust more. Maybe I was just stuck in my perception and fear was clouding my understanding and causing me to be impatient. I love when I answer a question while asking it, which happens to me all the time. You are experiencing firsthand my coming to an understanding that I'm actually not stuck, but that I am being held in the waiting room for divine timing. So I thank you for tuning in and next we will do part three of the healing series. And I look forward to sharing with you guys. I look forward to coming to you guys in part three, having my notes more organized, which will then allow me to be able to provide you guys my answers of the questions and not follow the, uh, the arrows as I had added them. Um, more um, notes when I reread my answers because it was just an inspiration and so it is just you finding me in my rough stages of healing different aspects of my life of healing the inner child as I said before I have done other works I'm doing this type of work and I'm looking forward to just arriving at this space where I have completely healed the wounded inner child and we're just completely thriving together that's why We've called it thriving. We have this big title of thriving on our um, YouTube um, page right there. So continue to do the work. It is not always going to be pretty. It is not always going to make sense, but you'll feel much more lighter. Sometimes it will come with a lot of tears and a lot of um, tissue being used because you are healing stuck energy. And I pray that I am helping you in some form, that as I'm healing myself, I am also helping you to be able to heal yourself. And me coming and answering these questions, I'm not placing blame on, you know, any particular person at this stage in my life. This is how the inner child and me felt and all of the needs she needed. And the same thing for you. So don't be afraid to ask those questions because you feel like you need to protect someone's 
emotions or you need to protect someone's perceptions or someone's or how some how people are viewed this is this is not about harming anyone or projecting how someone was not good this is more about freeing yourself and healing yourself so i pray that you give that to you i pray that you do the work to clean you up and let other people be responsible for themselves especially if you have zero intention of harming them So thank you again. I am Fozia. You are tuned in to Fo's Journey Across the Bridge, the healing series. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. So if you do like the videos that are the information and the tools that are being shared here on Fo's Journey Across the Bridge, please become a subscriber. As well, share the video if you've enjoyed it. Click the notification bell to let you, to let you know when I do post other videos that is also useful. If you want to see how I am um, just living day to day as well, I'm sharing here and there on um, Instagram on Falls Journey Across the Bridge. You can also go there and, and follow me. And so let's let's make um, our life better. Let's make ourselves better. Let's become the best versions of ourselves. And through that, we'll make the world a better place. So I thank you. I thank you and enjoy your day. Bye for now.